Cadrill. Round two is coming up. Who's your, who's your racing Drew? Yeah, Drew Austin. Yeah. Isn't that weird? You got his old body here. Yeah, it's kind of kind of cliche, but it's uh, we're excited. He's a uh, Obviously a hard lever, he, he's good on the trees, so I just gotta kinda hunker down and get in my groove. And I got some kind of head cold going on, so it is what it is. We're gonna go out there and do our best and uh, go from there. So, uh, have you thought about points at all? Nah, of course I wanna win it, but I'm just gonna go into it like every other race I've entered and try to knock his head off. And you've already, uh, you were already out of what, two races this year? Yeah, I didn't go to Woodburn and uh, Boise, so we're kind of behind the eight ball right now, but um, we're making ground, you know, the people that needed to go out needed to win out. And, but now you don't have one to throw out. No, I don't. No, I don't. So it's it's all or nothing this race. So I'm mean, I'm excited. I love I love this. I, I don't you know I've won championships where I've won two races previous at the end of the season, but I thrive on this stuff. This is what I drag race for. So. Is this more like the car you would ordinarily drive if you were putting one out? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. That's a you know the guys here. It's it's kind of it's kind of I'm not used to it because they're so laid back. They're so fun. And that's what it's about, you know. Even Jim Broom, the car owner, he's just like, you know, that's cool. You know, I asked him, hey, where were we at? I didn't see you on the Sunday. He goes, I wanted to see my car in the in the grandstands. I told him that's pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? So, just a different atmosphere. We're having fun, and well, he's also been at it for a long time. Been at it for a long time. Like I said in another interview, I crewed for him probably 13 or 14 years ago. He was my first top deal guy I uh, I crewed for. So, kind of make full circle. It'd be pretty cool to win a championship with him. Thanks a lot, Bobby. Appreciate it. Thank you. Drew Austin. You got Bobby in this round. Yep. Yep. With your old body. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. Yeah. Hope I don't see a lot of it. How about that? <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Just get out in front of them. It's yeah. going to be a really good match, and you guys are, are friends, but yes. you know, out there you're going to yeah. throw it out. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just. We've been, we've been trying our butts off here, you know, we've been on the wrong side of the ET mark, but um, we think we got something here, and, and uh, we're going to throw, throw throw something at them, you know, they're running really good, that car's a good car, you know, uh, you know we were fortunate enough to get around Shane and Bucky, just pure luck on that one, that's, that's been, that car's been the most dominant car all season, the most consistent car all season, so uh, the proof's in the pudding on that with, with their wins, so. And for more than one season. Yeah, oh, for sure. I mean, they, they've done so good. I mean, they they uh, they run a lot. Bucky's a smart tuner. Uh, he's good at what he does, and, and he loves drag racing, and, and that car shows that. So, and Bobby so you, did a did a good job for him while he was you're driving. You're still using him. your uh, your grandpa's engine. Yes, yes. In fact, he turned. It, he would have been 86 on Wednesday. So, yeah. yeah we all miss him. He was an awesome dude. Yeah, he was. He was a special person. I mean, there's not not a day that goes by that we don't think about him. So. so are these still his engines, or this, these are his designs? Yes, everything's his. So, yep, yep. Are you making new ones? We're, we're trying, okay. trying. Oh, really? Yeah. So we'll see. It's just okay. you know the investment on everything is just that's hard. So we'll see wow. if there's a if there's a aspect my dad wants to, to an avenue my dad wants to go down. We'll we'll, we'll yeah. go down it. So okay. yeah. we are making the Ford bodies now, so that's cool. So those are available for sale. Now, is so. this the same one that Romine used to run? Yeah, it's the same mold and everything. We bought the mold from Spitzer, okay. so it's it's the same mold. So if anybody's interested, it they can reach out. Carbon body, you know, we're laying them up. So it looks well, great. We, we got one going out to somebody. Just can't say who yet. So. Not the Romine. No, 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 no. His his. Uh, I don't know. If he comes back, yeah, but he's coming back with a with a feel offer. Is he good? Be happy to see him back out here. Yeah. So well, good luck today. Thanks a lot, Dar. Thanks, you. Appreciate it. It's been a hell of a weekend. It's been good. It started a little rough. We uh we we were hurt one Thursday, but we uh, changed everything and went back to what we normally do, and it's really it's it's coming together right now. Have you thought at all about points? No, I I try not to. Um, I got the team that can do this. We got the parts that can do this, and if we win the race, then it all works out. You've had the year to do this too. You, you really have had an awesome year. We have had an awesome year. You know, three number one qualifiers, a win. I mean, throw up Pomona where we qualified six. Our worst qualifying spot was third. Yeah. So uh, next year, same same team, same every, same everything. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, Devor yeah. will be with you. Devor will be with us, as far as I know. Is no, it, he'll be there. <laughs> has uh, has his salary uh, made up for lost parts? Absolutely. If we earlier in the year we went 37 runs and all we did was put two bearings in it in 37 runs. It was amazing. 
and it, it it's a testament to Bob and his um, his attention to detail and and my guys attention to detail to assembling the scene from Keith to to Chris Miner Todd words Mark Peters my wife all of us have a hand in this and it's all it's all paying off for us right now that's really great well congratulations for getting this far and and being in the points chase as long as you have it's uh, it's pretty cool to see the improvement in your team and, and uh, the performance of the car absolutely it's been a career year for myself for Keith Clark 50 years and this is his best year yet and We've got some great partners with Justice Brothers, Redline Oil, Ace Laser Cutting, Chris Miner Racing, and just all of it has helped us get to this point. Excellent. Good luck today. Thank you. Wait a minute. I do. Give me one sec. Let me put this down. The clutch is always one of the most important parts of any any drag racing application, but particularly funny cars. So how are you liking driving this car? Love it. It's a uh, dream come true for me. It's been, you know, a uh, lifelong of racing budget stuff and to finally, you know, have someone, uh, an opportunity to drive a car that's this well equipped. It's uh, pretty amazing for me. So. Of course, you've got an amazing team that's been yeah. together for quite a while. Absolutely. And they're all great guys. Uh, I, I love them all. They, we work really well together. Um, they, everyone does their job and uh, we, we fit really well together. Yeah. Do you have any time to drive your own car? Uh, not really. Uh, it's kind of just in hibernation. It came out a couple times this year just at home in Edmonton. Uh, one time I, I put a lap on it and then I had another guy drive it for us at an event in Edmonton. But it'll be kind of on semi-hiatus for that, that way for as long as uh, these guys will have me over here. So. Have you uh, mathematically gone through the points of what could happen today? Absolutely. We figured that out last night and there's you know a few scenarios where we're still good. So uh, we'll be definitely watching very closely and cheering some guys on, but uh, yeah, it's, it's a bit nerve wracking when you're not in control of it, for sure. So. so what happened yesterday? You blew tires off? Or? We don't really know for sure. I mean, I think we made really good decisions all weekend. Um, we ran pretty consistent all weekend and, and every time we made a change to the car, it responded. In Q3, we ran exactly what we wanted to. We, we backed it down just a little bit, ran a 60, uh, 60, 61 or something, um, which was okay. That's our E1 setup, and the track appeared to be, you know, uh, in, in good shape. Uh, so we're not really sure, because we, we really weren't going up there trying to run a 50 or rotate the earth or anything. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it, backing up, uh, we, we had spent a little bit of extra time on the starting line. Maybe the clutch got hot, but I mean, that's it all sounds like excuses at this time. But uh, I don't know. It, it's just it's drag racing and it's unfortunate. And uh, I tried pedaling it several times and it just I couldn't get it to, to stick at all. And uh, yeah, definitely unfortunate. So we we lost all our power, you know, in this situation. So uh, we'll see what happens today with those other three guys. Well, good luck. And, Thank you. Uh, it'll be good to see you back next year. Absolutely. We'll be back. Thank you. Going okay. to the second round. It's a pretty stout field that's left. It is. Uh, uh, and, and the big hitters are gone. Do you, do you see yourself as a spoiler or do you just want to win the race? Let's go round by round right now is what we're focusing on. So if we end up in the final, it would be awesome. But we know, you know, we've got a work cut out for us. Get the car down the track is the primary concern. Without smoking the tires, like a lot of people have, so that's where that's that's, that's our game plan for the day. Good. Yeah. And you're driving, I'm not your son. Mike Peck Senior is driving. Okay. Yeah. Well, good luck today. Thanks, Zara. Appreciate right. it. Thank you. Okay. So uh, second round. This is uh, pretty interesting the way this has turned out today, with the two points leaders out, and uh, you know you guys just battling it for a for a win without really a you know points of implications. But the car's running great. You, you got uh, what, Glenn Micris and you know some some real talent that's, that's tuning it. You're not a bad driver, you know. But <laughs> really, I don't know. You might want to ask them. <laughs> Could never do anything right, but it knows. In all seriousness, Glenn's come on board to help us this weekend, and it's 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 where it's Matt Matt and Glenn together are good, are just awesome. I mean, our crew them, is just getting better and better. Just watching them, uh, you know, talking it out of all the possibilities of how they can set the car up. And That's what these guys do. And I try to go out there and do the best I can and uh, 
happy to be back here. Last year was a disaster here for us. And, uh, you know, we went up to Boise for both races. And we did okay. The car's starting to turn and run good. And uh, looking forward to round two. I got Jeff Aran, who's going to be tough. Mm -hmm. The guy's a great driver. So as close to a pro as we've got here. Well, absolutely. So we know we have our hands full, but I'm going to go out there and give it my best. Did you buy another funny car from somebody? I did. I bought the Bartone car because this car is, doesn't really fit me. It never did when it was new. Uh, I was fitted in it, and when the body showed up to put on to be put on the chassis, it was too tall. So they cut an inch and a half out of the chassis, out of the hoop. So I'm driving the car, lay, laying back, and it's just, it's just I'm just tired of it. So I was going to build a new car, and uh, Crable came over and said, "Hey, go sit in that car." So I did, and we made a deal. So we're going to be putting that car together during the winter, and uh, hopefully see it here in March. What kind of body? I'm going to use the same body, the other 69 body. All right. Yeah, there's no way to swap them. So, you know, we're going to keep this car too. So, we'll see what happens. Yeah, no, two car team in the future? I don't know. I, God, yeah, it's hard enough to find uh, you know, enough help for one car team. <laughs> that would be cool, but we'll see what happens. I have AC Calderoni on board this week. And, you know, it's my buddy Scott. And uh, they've always helped, uh, you know, in years past. So... Yeah, you never know what's going to happen. Good. Well, congratulations on your win yesterday. You see your round win, and uh, we'll get him today. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Take care. So, Tim, your daughter was uh, checking out your car and making some passes in it today, or, uh, earlier this week. Uh, you going to go to a two-car team? Uh, not right now. If she gets sponsorship, I told her she can have the old car because I've got the new car. It's at their place in, in Huntington right now. And I says, if you can get funding, you have to fund your own car. But I said, I'll give you the old car to use because I got the new one there already. And uh, so she's working on it, see what she can do. But in the meantime, we want to get her her license so that she can go at any time or drive if she has to for anybody or whatever she needs. So plans for a new car for next year? I, yeah, I've got a brand new car. Jeff Benis built it. It's, it's at third place already in Huntington. Uh, I get to see it for the first time tomorrow. So uh, kind of excited to see it in person. I've seen pictures of it, but uh, it's ready to go. That's great. Good luck. It's a tough first round, but you know, there's, uh, there's next year, and, and uh, you got such a great team with Twig too. And, it's like it's, uh, it's a really solid team that, that, that Yeah, they just had the Gremlins. We've had Gremlins all year this year. This is actually the worst season I've ever had. Just stupid things breaking and things that were not looked after properly. So, uh, you know, yeah, last year we finished second in points, and this year we're 12th. So it's a, it's a real downer to be where we're at, but that's racing, right? Yep, it is. Well, we'll see you next year. All right, Dar, thank you. So, Todd, how do you like in uh, driving in California Hustle? Oh, my gosh, I'm just having the time of my life. It's uh, everything I'd hoped it would be, having a ball. Couldn't ask for a better team and car to drive for. Anything that you uh, were expecting that didn't happen or anything that happened that you didn't expect? It's like how? Uh, you know, I've driven some alcohol funny cars uh, and similar ETs, but this thing just seems more violent on the nitro. It's shakes, rattles, cackles. Uh, so five, 570 in these cars versus 570 in an alcohol funny car is just a different sensation. Does it pull differently? It does, yeah. It seems like it's uh, on the top end of the track. You still have to be on top of the car where... You know, an alcohol funny car, once you hit high gear, it's, you're kind of along for the ride, where this one, you're you're still driving a lot more. And you don't have near the downforce. No, exactly. Yeah, they're old school bodies. They have the good, cool look to them, and they're not quite as aerodynamic. Good. Yeah. So you're having fun doing this? Oh, I'm loving it. Absolutely nice loving it. Well, you couldn't be with a better person than Don Nelson. Oh, my gosh. He's got a heart of gold. He's a very kind man, and uh, I'm loving, loving the whole team, Don, everybody's just treating me great. That's great. Well, we'll see you next year. Awesome. Looking forward to it. Thanks, Ed. Thank you. Hey, Pete. Hello, Dark. Congratulations on the win in uh, Tulsa. That's, Thank you. Uh, it's better to do it here than in Tulsa. In a way. I'd rather been all over done racing now. We got a party last night. So last night we all said, woohoo, we won. Now let's go to go race tomorrow. Yeah. But I'm glad we're here. Yeah. Four-hour drive home is a 24-hour drive home. And if you're in the final, then you've got, what, eight, eight laps you, you will have done? It'll be nine. We've done six so far. Hopefully do three today. You got enough bullets? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Well, you're running really great and you're driving really great. Thank you. I'm finally getting comfortable in the car. It's taken me 25 runs to finally get back to where, okay, I'm not 
apprehensive about hitting that gas anymore. I'm good. How long had it been since you drove a dragster? It's only been like six years. Well, I drove for Dan yeah. one race, but I was still like, I was taking a ride. I wasn't driving. Now I'm finally driving the car again. So it's been like a six year absence of, from racing. Yeah. Well, you're doing a hell of a job. Thank Congratulations you. Congratulations on, you, uh, on your win and uh, good luck today. Thank you. Take care. Son, how are you? I'm doing good. This is uh, this is quite a race uh, for the at least for the guys who are going to have to go to the finals with what eight rounds. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's been a, it's a crazy race. You know, the two and one deal makes it a little more exciting. But uh, we're here to try to do our best. And uh, you know, I got Pete here first round for the reunion, and he's going to be a tough customer. You know, we're up there shooting the shit right now, so hopefully we can uh, pull one out. But he probably thinks the same thing. Did you bring enough bullets? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, we haven't actually used any this weekend, so we're good. Boy, <laughs> That's not what some other people are saying, but that's all right. Yeah, yeah, no, we're, we're, we're burned some pisses, don't get me wrong, yeah. but it's uh, we're definitely having a little bit of a struggle right now. We can't, been fighting our car all year for, you know, performance-wise, and, uh, you know, takes laps to figure it out, and the more laps you make, hopefully we get it figured out. So. And you still come out here to run with the best? Try to. Yeah, good. We try to. Great to see you, man. Yeah, great to see you, Dark. Take care. Thanks. I run into Jim Murphy in the pits. Uh, how are things going? How do you like your retirement? Well, it's, it's been good. Uh, um, enjoyable. I retired. actually sold my construction business three and a half years ago. So I retired from that and then the racing thing. It was just getting time and um, we went to a great group of people and they're going to do, do just fine. <laughs> so do you miss your dragster? I'm sorry. What? Do you miss your dragster? Not really. Not really. It was just. It was just time. I mean, I, I like the people in that, but um, it was getting crew and stuff it just became more. Everything became a little more difficult, and some of the fun. I was probably have other other interests too, with some great grandchildren, things like that. So it's um. It's you said, I think you said last uh, last time we talked, your uh, your your extra home. Oh, in Mexico, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we've been we've actually been doing a little bit of traveling, and, and uh, we're getting ready to do another trip here. So uh, said, we're not big travelers, but if you're enjoying it, and there's no pressure where you have to get something done with like the race car. You know, it's all it's all all consuming. Any chance you, you'll build a, a Holy Smokes funny car? I don't think so. No. Uh -uh. <laughs> you're not gonna go cackle fest, right? No, I'm not a cackle fest kind of person. I. <laughs> <laughs> but I love them, and I love it's, all the people. It's been great seeing people. Been, they've been very kind to things they've said to me. <laughs> That's great. Well, we miss you, and uh, I hope, hope everything goes great for you. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. Good to see you. Good to be seen and not viewed. Is this three in a row? Three in a row, man. Yeah. We need four now. We'll try. We'll try next for four. That's what we want. You ready for real kings of the sport in yeah. March? Oh, I'll take anything that you need, man. All right. We'll do anything. All right, good. We're not scared. That's a great way Thanks, folks. Yeah, this Are you guys available for uh, interviews? Uh, you got to go through my PR person. Yeah. Puerto Rican? Ken? Me too, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell up, tell up Mark fucking Gerwitz to get the fuck over here so they start drinking some more beer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, here's another win for you in a, in a nostalgia funny car. Yeah, and this one here, like this I said, uh, we started driving you know, for these guys this year, yeah. right? And went to three races and three finals and finally got the win here. Should have had to win the last one, but it's like unbelievable. It's hard to believe. Yeah. Yeah. Really proud of everybody and so happy for Randy and Jody and the whole team. You ready? Have you changed as a driver in driving these? Do you have a different feel for them? Yeah, it's a little different because it's got a pedal clutch in it, so yeah. you rev it up and it's got yeah. no throttle stop, it's got no shift light or no nothing. So it's kind of old school. It's fun to drive. I really enjoy it. Big burnouts, whatever you want. You know. Oh, those are doing big burnouts. Yeah, yeah. it's cool. I like it. the burnout competition if they had one. I try. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> There's Mark. Congratulations. Right, Matt. Man. Thank you. All right, so Get here, Matt. What is this? Championship number 12? Uh, this one's uh, 14. 14. Jeez. 71, 71 uh, event wins. So what happened to the car? Uh, the guys worked their butts off. We, I think we had probably 50 people working on the car at, at one time. I mean, it was just everybody. There was different teams. I mean, uh, Eileen Stafford was there, James Day, Adam Rhodes, uh, uh, Mark Lee. Like, just everybody was there just trying to get this race car back together. That was... That meant so much to me. It was really cool to watch. You know, I was kind of in the mix too. Uh, but you know, we got it all back together, and we started up, and the front still started. The front still started leaking. So 
we're gonna try to fix it but like I told Jimmy Kelso I was like look guys I'm like we won the world championship the last thing we need to do is blow the thing up or, or you know get oil under the tires and crash the thing you know what I'm saying Jim Brooms out of a race car so we just kind of cut our losses um, we didn't want to hold up Matt Bynum and Jeff Wren so which we probably would have um, you know congratulations to them they won the they won the race obviously I wanted it but um, everything worked out how it was supposed to work out. We won the championship, and uh, I cannot complain, that's for sure. Did you think coming into this you had any kind of shot? Oh, yeah. I, I wasn't going to I wasn't gonna show up unless I knew I had a chance. You know, I, I knew I, uh, the only thing I knew I could do is show up and cut lights. And, uh, you know, it worked out. I got better as every pass I, I was in the car. It was The car is so different than what I'm used to, you know. Um, but... You know, the good Lord, you know, he helped me out, and I'm just so proud of these guys. It was so much fun. That I've, I haven't had this much fun racing a Nitro Funny car ever. So sign me up again. Hopefully someone picks me up next year, and uh, we'll do it all over again next year. Groom's already agreed to do the real kings of the sport. We race against Tyler Rubber for one run. Yeah, it was pretty cool because he goes, hey, we're in contention for some money and some parts. I told him, yeah. I told him, well, just saying, yeah. just saying, yeah. congratulations, champ. Like, come on! <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll do that at the at the March meet. We'll cool. have one run for uh, for about five thousand dollars in prizes. Sounds good to me. Yeah, I'll yeah. buy some steaks. <laughs> well, congratulations. Appreciate it, Dart.